For today's episode, basically it is Wednesday. And if you guys have been watching for a while, you guys would know every Wednesday I would go to Salvation Army because it is 50% off and we would be going with Wacky Wednesday. Now if you guys have been watching for a while, you'll know Wacky Wednesday is like when people bum rush the door, it's just craziness. We've found honestly amazing finds over like the past couple years going. Ever since like my car and everything, I haven't been going to Wacky Wednesday, it's just been kind of a little bit of drag. But I realized that my electric bike actually does get to the Salvation Army and back under one charge. So let me know, maybe I'm gonna start going every single Wednesday at Salvation Army and kind of bring back the Wacky Wednesday to the vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. I remember when I was 30. 30. That they first, I don't know. I tried, I tried to, because I said, you don't see people. When I get a house, I'm definitely gonna come here for furniture. Like, look how nice this table is. Like, in the like, figure right when you walk in, it's only 80 bucks too. They have some really nice. Like, look at this, 80 bucks also. Yeah, little side tables. Even these, like, little like a uh, outdoor table, super nice. How much is this little lounge chair? 80 bucks. I feel like everything's 80 bucks. That's really nice couches too. Oh look, this car's for sale. They want 2,500 or best offer. 111,000 miles, it's a 1998. Guys, imagine if I buy a car from uh, Salvation Army and then I can put, I thrifted a car. It's actually really clean condition for 1998. Like there's a little cracking on the headdress, but that's not bad, 2,500. I wonder if it's like clean title and everything. The rims. Limited edition. Everyone always runs. Oh man, how I've missed Wacky Wednesday. So funny. So funny. Grab. Ooh, look at this cart. Ready to go. Look at all those flyers. I don't know how much those things are. Uh, should we get them? I have no idea. They're eight bucks. Uh, I guess we'll put them all in the cart. I don't know if they're worth it, but fuck it. Jeez, look at this leather jacket. This thing is insane. Just craziness. All right, let's check the jackets first. I'm the only one in the men's section so far, so we kind of got first dibs a little bit. Let's go through quickly. Old school Tommy Hill figure, little striped collar shirt. Not finding much so far. Alright, so this is what I'm leaving with. I actually found this brand new Lacoste uh, Novak sport shirt, brand new. So I'm gonna grab that. Adidas Columbia jersey. I'm gonna take a gamble on this motor jacket. It's kind of expensive, but this thing's just absolutely insane. Just embroidery everywhere. Just craziness. As I was leaving, I saw this at the corner of my eye. 1993 Florida Panthers. So sick. I passed up that jersey at first, but then I did some research on it and it's worth a lot. So we're gonna get it. Well, that was a pretty good Wacky Wednesday. Now let's go home and show you guys everything we got. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should kind of bring Wacky Wednesday back, go every single Wednesday. It's kind of funny because I saw a few of the same faces and the same people go for the same things. Like that guy in the Miami Heat jersey, he always goes for shoes. Literally runs to shoes and that's all he buys is just shoes. He, I've never seen him buy clothes. He's always been buying shoes for the past like two plus years that I've been going to Wacky Wednesday. And it's kind of funny also to see like the same old people kind of like in line since 9.30 
and it's kind of funny to see all the people run. You guys saw, usually last two years ago, it was a little bit more crowded and it used to be more crazy. Like people used to really bum rush the door. Today wasn't as bad as yesterday, but let's show you guys the finds of today. Now, let me know also, do you guys like seeing the finds today kind of in the middle of the video? You know, right now it's only 11, 15 a.m. and I'm already showing you guys the finds of the day versus showing you guys the finds of the day around 4 p.m. Now granted, we're not done for to the day. I am gonna still go out, get lunch, probably hit up a Goodwill. I do have to go to the post office also, but I did wake up early to hit Salvation Army so I can make a Wacky Wednesday video. So to start it off, we do have this brand new, with the tag still, original price was $60. It's Lacoste collab with, I'm gonna butcher this name so bad, uh, Novec D. Jovec, I have no idea. Size medium for, has a Novak little Lacoste logo, and on the sleeve it does have that. I am usually pass up on jerseys, but I figured, you know what, let's just grab this. We have the Adidas Columbia jersey. Excuse me. Thank you. You can see it has the Climacool with the stripes going down, and then the little thing on the navy fit. I'm not exactly sure what size this is. It's kind of faded, but if I had to guess, it's probably about a medium large. I did take a gamble on this huge motorcycle racing jacket. This thing is just crazy with embroidery and patches. It's a size XL, has a yellow hits. Honestly, if I rode a motorcycle, I'd probably wear this because this thing is so nice. But again, I have no idea. I'm probably gonna try to sell it locally, to be honest, uh, just because shipping this thing would be such a pain in the butt. It would probably be like $25 to ship this thing. So I figured maybe I'll throw it up on an offer up and maybe someone locally that rides a motorcycle would wanna buy this. But it's kinda cool we have the just championship cup all throughout. Now this was kind of a Florida Panthers day. When I was checking out, they have a bunch of stuff kind of hanging behind the register and I asked them, hey, is that on sale also? Now, people that don't know, Wacky Wednesday, you get 50% off of, I think basically everything, but mainly clothes on Salvation Army. So this was kind of in the back. I was like, oh, are those on sale? They're like, yeah. So I originally saw, not this one, I originally saw this jersey, right? I saw this navy jersey. I think they wanted $50, so half off would have been $25. Huge embroidered patch, nice patches and everything. Um, has this name, which I didn't even know the, this player's name. I thought it might have been a custom, but it's not. It's from 2004, so it's a little bit of older season. And I saw this signature. Now, this signature could be a printed signature or it could be a legit signature, you know. They do do printed signatures, the kind of like a series with the jerseys. But either way, I looked it up and these go for a good amount of money. Um, as you guys see, number four, and it's literally the same exact jersey. This one, the 220 doesn't have a signature and this does have a signature. So I originally saw this, I passed up on this. Then I saw, then as I was leaving, I saw these sleeves. I was like, oh, what is that? And it turned out to be this 1993 Florida Panthers, I was like, okay, I definitely need to cop this because this is just so fire. And when I was checking out on the line, I saw this red jersey. Now, this is just a regular CCM, no player edition or anything. This one was $40, so it'd be $20. So I figured, you know what? Let me just grab that one. I ended up buying these two jerseys, this red one, and then the 1993. And then as I like kind of went out, I did a little more research on that Navy jersey. I realized, yes, it is worth a little bit of money. So I figured, you know what? I'll take the $25 gamble. If I'm gonna try to probably sell for $60, $70, maybe even 100 if that. But I figured, you know what? Let me just grab all of it. So I grabbed all the Panther stuff literally in there. My favorite thing, I, honestly, I think I might just keep uh, is this 1993. Like whenever I go to Panthers games, this would be so fire to wear. But this, the tie, this, the size tag ripped off. It's probably about a size large XL. This one is a size large. And then the navy one is a size XL. I imagine the same person donated all of them. Um, like it was like maybe a family and they just said, screw it, let's donate all of it. So those were the Wacky Wednesday finds. Comment down below, what was your favorite find of like the Wacky Wednesday? I am gonna kind of rest a little bit. I do have to give Captain a bath, so we're gonna give Captain a bath. Then I'm gonna get some lunch, so I'll probably just catch up to you guys when I get some lunch. The usual payway, orange chicken, white rice, and the crab wontons. I quickly came into Michael's because you guys saw yesterday, I couldn't get out the yellow, so I think I'm just gonna dye it. I was gonna do a black, but I wanna maybe make it like a faded color, so maybe we'll do like pearl gray. 
but I don't think that will get off the stains, so we better just go black before I waste my money. We could go teal. Teal would actually look kind of dope. Teal with like the BMW. Eh, let's just stick to black. Black will be good. Good thing about Michaels is they always have like a 40 or 50% uh, coupon. So basically get this for like a dollar something versus three bucks. All right, I came home, I filled this pot with warm water. I poured a dash of soap, some salt, and poured the black dye. Now we're gonna put the BMW shirt. Let's hope it turns out nice. I also got this Ron Sean shirt the other day. It has a bunch of like yellow stains on the front. And like you see that stain. So we're just gonna honestly like, there's a lot of dye in there. So I'm just gonna dip this in here too. Screw it. All right, so about four hours later, I already dyed the shirts. I had them in the wash. I did them about two times. I already took a shower, I just took a nap, I just got up. I was editing also today's video, but I do wanna show you guys the end results of the t-shirts. I think they turned out really nice, so first I'll show you guys the Ron John Surf Shop. Now these will be for sale, link down below. But we have the Ron John, it almost has like a tie-dye like effect to it with the black, the gray, and the color's just so sick on this shirt. This fits about a large. Just super sick. And the BMW has looked like the same effect. You could see all the stains on the front basically just kind of got washed away. The little BMW logo. More peeling, but even so, I think it looks really sick now with like the fading and like how just the tie-dye, which is super sick BMW. I might sell this, I got a lot of people interested. If the price is right, you know, everything is for sale when the price is right. I caught that Art Institute t-shirt the other day for personal. Literally about five people hit me up. Yo, you want to sell it? You want to sell it? I was like, yo, if the price is right, end up selling for $25. So I was like, yo, $25, no problem. That's yours. But I do try to keep some things for the personal, but you guys just cop instantly. Like yesterday, for example, the Carhartt jacket literally sold within minutes of posting it. And everyone's like, yo, are you going to post it? Are you going to post it? I'm like, sorry, it's sold. They're like, oh, that's not fair. Like some people work. They're like you, you don't give people dibs on Instagram first and I'm like I'm sorry that's why you need to follow me on Instagram maybe later down the road I'll have some kind of like exclusive membership that you guys get first dibs but I do post it on my Instagram and usually the people that have notifications on on my Instagram cop it first and that's just how it is but make sure you guys check out link down below emcvlogs.com I have 100 vintage items everything is for sale t-shirts starting at $10 plus shipping you really can't go wrong so make sure you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget, guys. Let's get it. <laughs>